as far as the constitution of that committee uh, politically, I don't think it makes any difference. Uh, so one of the panelists suggested that they're going to represent the leadership, and that's my judgment too. Nobody on that committee is going to write a profile in courage by stepping out and voting with the wrong team. Uh, they're all going to stick together. That means they're going to play around again extensively with, uh, uh, with uh, domestic discretionary, adding this time some, uh, some defense spending. Uh, but those uh, players may as well be uh, John and Nancy and Harry and Mitch because that's the way they're going to vote. Its target of, 100, uh, of a trillion and a half won't stabilize the debt, depending on which uh, uh, Bill will uh, tell you which baseline to use, uh, but it will continue to increase. <clears throat> They'll wait for an election. The election is likely to bring us a continuation of divided government and further political stalemate while they jockey until the next election. Uh, in, in the meantime, uh, our uh, economic uh, condition continues to worsen. In my judgment, the, the right kind of solution is that the super committee or the Congress itself has to negotiate something like the Bowles-Simpson or Rivlin Domenici plan uh, with forcing triggers to stabilize the debt in a dozen years and reduce it uh, thereafter. I think uh, our economy needs the certainty. And uh, if, as Henry suggests, you need to backload that a bit, uh, that's all right uh, with me. The Democrats have to, uh, uh, are going to have to sacrifice some entitlements. They're going to have to stand for the stabilization of Social Security and some cuts in Medicare that they really, really don't want to happen. In the meantime, the, Demo the Republicans are going to have to sacrifice some tax reform and throw some additional revenue in as well. At the moment, neither party seems willing to make such concessions. And uh, as a result, I believe that the uh, super committee will achieve its uh, $1.5 trillion goal. As somebody said, the, uh, the trigger mechanism is, is a little frightening, I think, to both parties. Uh, but it will achieve it in the old ways on domestic discretionary and tinkering with a few, uh, a few entitlements that uh, are least harmful uh, to the rest of the world. So, my pre political prediction is, is business as usual. Uh, we have spent nearly, we will have spent at the end of the year, almost the whole year arguing about 15% of the United States budget. And uh, we will be prepared to spend another year next year doing the same thing.